Do you guys have a hard time organizing your pantry, keeping it under control, keeping it managed, and not feeling like you are just absolutely throwing things into a dungeon? Do you have a hard time figuring out the layout or the setup or the breathing pattern that you need to have to make that space work for you? If you do, come along with me and I will show you how I organize mine to make it work for me, not the other way around. My pantry is right off of the garage. This is the garage door, pantry, and then kitchen is right here. So I really like the fact that it's not necessarily in my kitchen per se, but it's close enough to get the things that I need uh, from it and not have to be walking all over the house. So that I really do like. Uh, I always get made fun of for my pantry and I'm okay with that. Uh, I like it organized. I like to know exactly where things are. I like to know what things are. And for me, um, this system has worked for our last three houses. Um, and so I just continue to bring it with us when we move. Although I hope that we are done and I don't have to move it again. But I will go through with you guys and just kind of show you my rhyme and reason for doing what I do in hopes that, you know, you can just pick even if it's one tiny little thing that can help you guys better manage your pantry, um, then that's all that I hope to accomplish through this video. So let me just start to go shelf by shelf and show you uh, why I do what I do. So on the top you will see that I have the things that I don't use the most um, or as often. So on the very top shelf, I just have uh, two vases that I use if I have a lot of flowers uh, to need to put in there. And then this binder right here is the binder that I use when I leave all of our schedules and school schedules and everything with the grandparents if they are watching our kiddos and we're out of town. That right there is our um, cupcake holder if I send cupcakes to school with the kids. And then this bin right here is extras and I know people are gonna ask me where my bins are from and they are from Target. Um, I love these bins, they are sturdy. I have had these bins for almost five years now and um, I don't have cracks in them, nothing. I mean, they're, they're awesome, I love them. So up here I just have an extra bin and I printed out a little tag and attached it to that so that I can see exactly what I have on there. I've got rice, peanut butter, flour, vegetable oil, and Special K. And that way, those are things that um, I will need at some point, but they're not in my daily routine so I don't have to have them front and center. And then the second set of shelves is where I keep all of my recipes. I actually need to go through this. Um, it's on my to-do list of things to do. Uh, and I will do a video on kind of how I manage my recipes, but it's just gotten a little out of control with some of the new recipe books that I've got, um, some of the recipes in these binders right here I don't use a lot. And so I just kind of need to consolidate um, so that it, it flows a little bit better. And then down one, I have my spices and my oil. Uh, these are actually all on a Lazy Susan, which I absolutely love because I can utilize this kind of weird shaped shelf uh, to work for me by using the Lazy Susan. I don't have to have things like, you know, stacked in front of each other and on top of each other and then have to, you know, pull this out to get to this and all the things that happen when you try to stack back and forth. Um, it just works better for me. This is another seasoning that I use a ton of. Um, it's McKay's chicken broth for anybody who knows what that is, but I buy it in bulk. And so I just stick it in a mason jar um, so that I don't have to have the bag in here. Then down one shelf, like I said, this is where I keep all of my oil, my liquid stevia, um, my big salt containers, and again, this is on a Lazy Susan, and I can get to exactly what I need 
a lot easier than if these things were stacked in front of each other going all the way back um, the depth of the shelf. Then down below that is where I keep all of our straws. Um, my kids still love straws. We use straws for smoothies. So I have those in there. Um, and then we have got uh, some dog bones, obviously, right in here, and then chip clips. So this label right here I made with my silhouette a few years ago. These um, labels right here, and I know some people are gonna be like, seriously, why would you need to put a, a label on there? Because you can see through the container and, and tell what it is. And you can see on top of here what is in the container. For me, I just like the um, the look of the labels. I like the fact that my kids can come and put groceries and things away for me and know exactly where they go. Um, I like the aesthetic part of it. And anybody can come into my home if I'm not here, if I were to get sick, if something were to happen to me, they can come into my home and basically find anything and everything that they need because it's labeled. And so for some that might be totally ridiculous, but for me it works. Um, but what I was saying was this is actually one of those holders that you use like if you're going to a conference for your work uh, and they put your name tag in here, that's exactly what these are. This just kind of ziplocks together. You print these off on your computer. I just stick that in there um, and that's how I use it. I like that they are in that covering because if something spills on it, it's easily um, wipeable and I don't have to, to redo my label. And then down underneath this is uh, where I keep all of my sprinkles. I only keep enough sprinkles to fit in this container. Um, I figure I, I don't make thousands of cookies on a monthly basis, so I don't need thousands of sprinkle bottles. Uh, I just keep what we need and what we use, and if I bring another one in, then it needs to be able to fit in this space. Next to that, I just have my coconut oil. Uh, I get that from Costco, so that's why it's so large. And then underneath that is where I keep all of our cookie cutters and um, we keep our egg white protein right there as well. But for me, this is just the way that I was able to utilize this space because as you can see, these cupboards are a little bit strange in um, dimension. And so it just, I don't know, it, it works to have these little containers here with then something round right there. So I guess what I'm saying is make the space work for you. Don't try to turn it into something that it's not, but use it to the best of its ability, even if it doesn't look like somebody else's, or even if it doesn't look like what's on the Pinterest pictures. Because honestly, friends, Pinterest can be so overwhelming and so consuming and can make us think that what we have isn't good enough and it's not true what you have is good enough you just have to make it work for you and you will appreciate it a whole lot more and then underneath my cupcake container is where i keep all of our cupcake tins our candles uh, food coloring and frosting tips and then these right here are just uh, leftover suckers from Chloe's uh, Valentine's that she did this year. And the containers that I have these in are just the um, OXO. I don't, I don't know if that's how you say it, but they're just the pop top and pop uh, closure, and I really like those. Then coming down here is where we keep our oats and our chocolate milk mix. Again, this is just on a pop top as well. And then on the inside of it is where our little scoop is. With this right here, you'll see that I have uh, this one and then all of these. And then over here, I have all of these containers. I separate all of my things with like items because I feel like it is so much easier to number one, put away number two to find, and number three to not get totally um, bogged down with 17 cans of green beans. 
Everything that I have pretty much fits in these containers. I have extras of things, but I don't have three months worth of stuff, if that makes any sense. So for this container, um, this is where we keep all of our dry breakfast things. So you'll see um, we've got pancake mix in there. We have um, muffin mix, and that is just where all of that stuff goes. And I'm able to have extras, but it's not just shoved into a shelf. It's a lot more confined in this space. And then down under that is where we keep all of our cereal. These uh, containers just came from Walmart. The OXO containers, you can find those at Walmart, but I just always get mine at TJ Maxx because I feel like they're a lot cheaper. These are the snapware containers from Walmart. They just open and shut on the top. And I like that they have the little pour um, handle right there. And then again, I just used my silhouette to put cereal on there. I didn't specify because you know we kind of go through different phases here where we like certain things um, as you can see here one of my kids likes the peanut butter uh, organic cereal and the other one likes the non-peanut butter um, so whatever then down underneath that uh, I've got cream of wheat and um, also oatmeal Right here I have peanut butter and jelly and some might say, holy cow, you have a ton of peanut butter. I do because I'm going to um, make homemade granola bars and I need a lot of peanut butter. So normally I don't have that quite of a stockpile. And then next to it is where I keep my syrup and honey. And so that just keeps everything um, contained in its own compartment. And I like the fact that if this were, for instance, um, especially this, if any of these were to spill or leak, it's not just all over my shelving, um, getting sticky and, and gross. Then underneath here is where I keep my um, almond flour. I just have it in a Ziploc bag with the date that I took it out um, or that it expires. It never really expires because we use enough of it, but I take... Um, I put the date on there that I took it out of the compartment. I just like it in this better because number one, I can see when I'm getting low and number two, I don't have to try to Ziploc it back in the bag that doesn't always Ziploc quite like you want it to. Um, this I know is a lot more um, sealing, I guess, if you will. Then in this container is where I have my healthy baking. So things that are gluten-free or I've got macadamia nuts, um, I've got flax and chia blend. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I've got cacao powder, um, hazelnuts, I've got some chia seeds, just things like that that um, I use but not on a daily basis. I just kind of put all of those things in here and uh, that way I can kind of keep those consolidated as well. And then down below here is where I keep my potatoes. I just have sweet potatoes and regular potatoes in there. And again, I like that that is in a container because if you know one of them spoils or gets gross like potatoes can sometimes, um, I don't have it sitting on my shelving. And then on this side, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I got these containers from Hobby Lobby like four or five years ago. And um, actually probably longer than that because we were actually in Texas when I purchased these. And I just used my silhouette again to uh, put the labels on them. These containers right here are from Walmart. Um, but all of the the ones with the clasp top, they are from Hobby Lobby. And so I just have anything that would be in a bag or a box in these containers. That way I can see exactly how much I have and I can refill as needed and I don't end up halfway through a recipe and realize, oh shoot, I don't have as much rice as I needed or I don't have as much sugar or whatever the case may be. 
And then down below, I just have my mixer and inside of it, I just keep all of the attachments. That way I don't have them in a drawer somewhere taking up space. I can just have everything that I need right there with it. Up above is where I have my paper towels. I just keep them all in there. That way I don't have um, the big bulky uh, wrapping that it comes with. It's just easier for me to consolidate it all that way. And then on this shelf, this is kind of what I mean about making it work for you. So this shelf was not long enough to be able to do three of these sized ones. So I did two on the shelf and then a little one and then down here two and a little and then as you can see all the way down. Um, so make it work for you. Don't make it look like somebody else's but make it work um, for you because that's how that's how it needs to be. What works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you and what works for you isn't necessarily going to work for me. You have to make it um, doable in your situation. So for me, this is what was doable. In here, I have my um, broth. I'll try to get the camera up, <laughs> up above so you can see. But right in there, I just keep all of my vegetable broth, chicken broth, beef broth, all of that. And then in this one, this is where I keep my uh, baking mixes. So I have um, like brownies. I've got some sugar cookie uh, mixes in there that we use um, when I just don't want to take the time to make it from scratch. And then in here is where I keep all of my season packets. So everything that comes in those little um, cardboard boxes or not necessarily in a cardboard box but things like this then um, I just throw all of those in here that way again I can see exactly what I have and I'm not running out and those boxes aren't being shoved to the back of a pantry uh, shelf. Down below I have my mushroom soup and then over here I have all of my diced tomatoes and tomato sauce and so you can see I can fit a large amount of uh, cans in there, but yet I don't have tons and tons of cans taking up shelf space. I just feel like this utilizes my shelf space a whole lot more than if I were to have things stacked all about and have to, you know, take things in and out as I needed. This one right here is very full. This is where I keep all my vegetables. So I've got like my green beans, my garbanzo beans, all of my uh, kidney beans and things like that are in this container. And then down below here is where I keep all of our uh, stuff for Italian meals. So I'll have like pizza sauce, um, pasta sauce, what else? Tomato paste. Mushrooms are down there. Um, I've got a diced tomato that looks like it ended up over here that should be up above, but oh well, you get the idea. And then for all of our Spanish meals, that is what is in here. So we've got chili beans, uh, black olives because I put olives in my enchiladas. And then we've got black beans, we've got some chilies down here, uh, refried beans, and enchilada sauce. Oh, I almost forgot this one. Uh, and then my oils. So all of my oils are in this container. Again, this container came from Target. So I've got avocado oil back there, vegetable oil, all of my um, spray oils. I've got EVOO here in the front, and then in the back I even have um, a space for some extras. And again, if anything were to leak, it would leak in this and not all over my, my shelving. Then down below I have tuna, and here is where I keep all of my noodles. So I've got our stir fry noodles, our egg noodles for chicken soup, and really that's the only noodles that we use. 
And then next to that, I have got all of our macaroni and cheese for the kids' lunches, um, either for school or at home. And then their um, pasta rings or SpaghettiOs, whatever you wanna call them. Down below that, I keep all of our beans. So I've got navy beans, I've got um, some lentils, I have got the split peas, and that looks to be it right now. So all of that just fits right in there. And then next to that is where I keep my grains, which I need to replenish this. Um, but I've got the quinoa and the um, whole grain. Then next to that, I have got some drink mixes. My kids really, really like the True Lemon original lemonade there's no junk in that i order this off amazon and then these right here um, are just kind of a, a ketone drink that um, i use once in a while uh, when i'm on keto down below there i need to replenish this as well because i used the last of this um, on monday no sunday uh, but this is where i keep all of my boxed soups like my um, tomato soup and different things like that that you buy in the carton and then next to that this is where i keep all of my spices um, that are extra if you have watched my kitchen video you know that i don't have a lot of space for um, containers this size and so i have to keep these in here and then have the little tiny ones in my kitchen so this is where I keep all of the extras until I need to refill. Um, and they are all labeled as well, only because this is um, what I used in my previous kitchen in Denver. And so I just stuff them back in here and, and use them that way. And then underneath here is just the bigger things like your Lowry seasoning, your taco seasoning that comes in the big plastic container. Over here, I just have my mason jars for um, jam and things like that. And then in this chip container is where I keep all of our packaged chips. So this is where the kids can come for snack or this is where we pull from for lunches. Uh, they're always portioned out in baggies because number one, it eliminates having to do this in the morning when we're making lunches and number two, um, it's a lot easier to see how many bags are, you know, being taken out of here versus um, just handing somebody over a chip bag and letting them kind of have a free for all. So I'm able to monitor that a lot better. And then in this chip container, this is just where we keep ones for our house, whether, you know, we're doing chips and salsa or, um, having people over and, and need um, like Fritos or something like that for haystacks, that's where those types of things would go. Up above is where I keep my extra coffee because honestly, safety first friends. Uh, this is just um, things that have either been gifted to me for Christmas or that I really like and don't want to run out of. Um, I only keep two in the kitchen, which again, if you've seen my video, you will know what I'm talking about. Then on this shelf right here is my bread maker. Up above this is where we keep um, these little things. So if you watched my Christmas video, you know that I gave these for my husband's work. Um, these are just popcorn containers and I had quite a few extra. So I put them in here and this is just what the kids use when they have popcorn when their friends are over um, and we're not dirtying up a bunch of um, bowls and things like that. Up above there, I'm not going to take that down because it's a little bit heavy um, trying to hold a camera and not being on a stool, but that is where we keep all of our water bottles. So um, the ones that you would take to the soccer field the baseball field, the pool, things like that, that's where those go. And then to the right of that is where we keep all of the larger ones that obviously will not fit in there. Down below is where I keep my 
um, dry and wet baking. I have it separated out, obviously, just because it's easier to get to the certain things that I need to use. Uh, so for instance, this right here is where I keep like my um, evaporated milk, uh, different things like that, my pumpkin puree, that is where that stuff goes. And then over on this side is where all the dry stuff is, which is um, like my chocolate chips, my uh, flaxseed blend, just different things like that. And I have them all in the Ziploc because then I can see when I'm needing to replenish them as well as them not getting dumped all over inside of the container or on my shelves. Which is easy to shut them um, and it's easy for the kids to shut them as well. Underneath those I've got my American condiments and my Spanish condiments. So in here pickles, mustard, mayo, uh, relish, dressing, barbecue sauce, things like that. And then over here um, I have got like soy sauce, obviously that's not Spanish, but just different things. Most of this is um, my salsa. We've got um, chili paste, I couldn't think of what it was called, and things like that. And then underneath that is where I keep um, other things for snacks or lunches. If you saw my morning routine, you saw these containers at that time. So these are all portion controlled as well. That's just what works for our family. That way we're not just uh, free for alling bags of candy. And then over here is our salty uh, container and you'll find like Ritz crackers, uh, wheat thins, what else? Um, We've got some Triscuits in here, so things that are more salty versus obviously sweet. Underneath this is granola bars. We've got granola bars in here, but I also keep our packaged uh, peanut butter for their lunches as well when they have like celery sticks or apples. Next to that is applesauce or fruit. Uh, it used to just be applesauce, but they have started to really like these little um, organic packaged fruits and so those are in there as well. Here is our applesauce. I buy these. Um, these are just the all natural brand from um, Hy-Vee, my grocery store. They have a blank um, top and I just, when I unpackage them, I just write little sayings on the top of them just to kind of give a little pick me up um, at lunchtime. Then underneath here is where my husband keeps all of his protein shake stuff. Uh, I don't even pretend to know what half of this stuff is, friends. I just keep it organized. So he's got like his mixer cups in here. And then these are all of the protein containers. Down here is the mixer. And next to that is just all of the blades and gadgets and gizmos. This right here is a um, shelf that just kind of pulls out and he's got more of the um, cups that go with the mixer in there. And then underneath are all of the lids and inserts that go with these. To the right of that is where we keep our dog food um, and dog bowls. This right here is just on rollers, and so it just kind of makes it handy. I stuck a 3M hook right there and hung my um, stool. And then above that is where I have my um, what do we need list, as well as my uh, food list for the week. That way I can see exactly what we're having. Um, I know what to pull and uh, different things like that. I just took this little thing right here, which is just a drawer organizer from Target or Walmart, I don't remember which, and I put Velcro strips on the back of that and just attached it, and that way I can have my eraser and my um, pens in there as I need them, and I don't have to go searching for them in a drawer or on a shelf. And then back behind the door, I have 
uh, some hooks that I just stuck up there with Velcro strips as well. And this is where my kids hang their lunch bags uh, every day after school. Um, that way they're not all over the counter or in a drawer or whatever. This just kind of keeps it hidden and out of the way. Now, I know some of you are looking in here trying to figure out what this is. So the lady that lived here before us, she utilized absolutely every space that she could in this house. And this is just kind of a little walk space. So we had this in our garage entry uh, in our other house. And I really, really wanted to use it in here and it actually fits perfect. And so what this does, and I realize not everybody has this, but for us, obviously we had the space, so I wanted to utilize it to the best of its ability, but this is just total overflow. So this is like party napkins, plates, um, right here is like little to go, um, containers that sometimes I send food home with people. I have got extra uh, lunch things right there that we actually use sometimes on trips if we take our lunch with us. Up above, that's where I keep my crock pots. And then down below here is where I keep all of my metal containers, um, like my baking tins and things like that. And then this drawer right here, oops is where I keep um, all of my cups and just kind of some birthday party, picnic-y type things. And then down here is where I keep kind of things that I just plain don't have a space for. Um, extra spoons, uh, cups that we get from games that we don't want to throw away, larger mason jars, and then these are the containers uh, for water that my husband takes when he goes biking. And then back there is where I keep my steam cleaner and my mop. And then I hung a hook up right there. That's where I keep all of my Costco um, cool bags when I, when I go there. So all of my reusable bags are inside of those bags. This right here is just a um, kind of a lunch bag that keeps cool that uh, we take with us on trips sometimes. Here are our coolers. This right here is for if we have a lot of people over and I just throw ice in it with some um, drinks and whatnot. These are, oh, why in the world is that there? The things you find, friends. These right here are my, um, like if you're going to a potluck, these keep food uh, warm and um, so I've got those there. And then down below, I just have an extra um, bucket there for if I ever need one. And then in here, both of my kids have to take um, napkins, plates, and silverware to their Easter parties for their class on Thursday. So those are just all right there and ready for them to grab and head out the door with. So, like I said, I realize this is not something that everybody is going to have or that they can have, but for me, it was space that was already here. And so I wanted to utilize it um, to the best of its ability. And so this is what I did in that space. And that's it, friends. That is how I organize my pantry. Um, I would love to hear down below different ways that uh, you have to keep all of your things in order. Do you buy, um, you know, months worth of food? Do you just buy food per week? Um, do you have stockpiles? How, how do you do your pantry? I would love to hear. I don't know what it is, but I just have like a little infatuation with pantries and pantry organization. Like I said, I get made fun of and that's okay. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet a part of this community, click on that red subscribe button down below. We would absolutely love to have you. I post videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you have not clicked on that bell to be notified every time a new one pops up, then go ahead and do so. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, the handle is down below. It's just a place for you to get to know me on a more personal level outside of an edited video. 
Guys, I hope that you were able to find some type of inspiration from this video today. Even if you have a big pantry or a small pantry, I hope that you were able to find some things that you could implement into your space. Until next time, friends, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.